In this video, I'm going to show you how you can give yourself a penetration test completely for free across your external attack surface, both IPs and websites uh, in under two minutes. My name is Terry Lewis, and for 20 years, I've helped organizations as large as global investment banks through to VC-backed startups and scale-ups manage their cybersecurity posture. So it's actually really easy. Once you've logged in to the RoboShadow portal, which takes 30 seconds to sign up and is completely free of charge, the first button that you are greeted with is this one here that says start a scan. I'm going to paste in here scanme.nmap.org. So this is an address that the lovely people at nmap have created just to test tools like this. So I'm going to say add hostname. This can be your website or IP addresses of your offices or data center, things like that. Yes, I've got permission quick scan. So apart from the defaults, I'm just going to select the web scan, which I'll come back to in a second. I'm going to suggest just the top 1000 ports in the beginning just for time and brevity, but you can do the full 65,000 port range on the RoboShadow platform completely free of charge as well. So I'm going to click, I've got someone uh, that's timing me off, um, off screen. So you ready, Jacob? One, two, three, go. Okay, so that's finished. Jacob, how long was that? Right, so 30 seconds. That's particularly quick. Um, it can take anywhere up to five minutes, depending on how busy the queues are. But this is the screen that you get greeted with. So on the left-hand side is your IP address vulnerabilities. So every doesn't matter if it's a website, if you're putting in a website or just a raw IP address, everything that faces the raw or dirty internet will have an IP address of which that will be broadcasting on ports. And it's these ports uh, where you have vulnerable software. So I'm just going to click into here and we can have a little look at what software is particularly vulnerable here so if we go down here and there you go uh, that's picked up there let's have a little look and these are all apache vulnerabilities so this is a web server that we scanned so apache which is a very common web server you can see here fairly critical uh, vulnerabilities on these web on this web server on port 80 so you would just give that to anyone that looks after your infrastructure they will know what a cve vulnerability is and they will know how to remediate it which is 99 percent of the time it's literally just update the software so that should be a fairly easy kill um, and again on port 22 there's some more vulnerabilities as seen here um, so then let's go down to the OWASP section so this will be uh, the elements on the right here so OWASP is slightly different so OWASP top 10 is used as one of the uh, most popular open source website scanning capabilities on the planet. It's used by Microsoft for their sort of external attack surface as well. But because being able to interpret people's websites and how vulnerable they may be, it's a lot more of a different, difficult task, sorry, than it is just to scan um, what we call the banners and headers that come back from IP addresses. So the nice people at OWASP will give us a confidence rating. So it will say, here's a risk rating, here's the elements of how risky we think they are but how confident we are in that the fact that you are actually vulnerable to these so i suppose what we're saying here just because you see vulnerabilities if you put in your website and you see vulnerabilities that come back here even if they say high here in the risk check the confidence level because what you don't want to do is go picking a fight with your website developers um, they will probably know what OWASP top 10 is this is just used as a guide effectively so do check the confidence level but it just gives you an understanding web web technologies can be very very complex it just just allows you to understand is there any no nasties on your actual website and it's something that you can send to your website developers and say can you have a little look at this we know that OWASP has some false positives but it's very much a good guide as well so so that's pretty much it very quick very easy you can put in the IP addresses of your um, as I say websites offices um, uh, cloud locations um, on-prem infrastructure uh, that can all go in there completely unlimited um, for you to scan manually uh, the additional capabilities that we have uh, on the premium version is a full attack surface mapper, um, the continuous scanning with RoboGuard effectively, and the ability to pull in Robo AI, which is more enhanced sort of vulnerability management. And then also as well, we pull in the showdown data as well. But the free version, completely free out the box, is still really, really good to use. Um, and just go and try it on the RoboShadow platform. So thank you very much for watching.